Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Welcome to Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology video lecture series. In this video, I am going to discuss about the topic is structures in C program, structure definition. Structure is a collection of one or more variable of the different data types grouped under the single name, grouped under the single name. If you want to understand the structure, you need to be understand the variable, then you need to be understand the array, then you can easily understand the structure. So, I provided the example for the variable. The variable means it is a single name. You can store single value in the memory location. So, integer A is the example. The corresponding memory allocation is A is the name of the memory location. The corresponding allocation is 2 bytes based on the integer data type. Then array is there. Okay, well, In the integer data type, we have the integer A, we have the drawback of we can able to store only one value. If you want to store more than one value, you need to go for array. Unity, you need to be go for array. Here also one drawback is there. If you want to store the n number of value, that should be in the same data type. So, example, integer a of 3. So, 3 locations are allocated. Our 3 value memory locations are allocated here. a of 0, a of 1, a of 2. Okay, well. So, this is the integer data type. Each and every location, 2 byte of memory location is allocated. Size is 3. 3 into 2, totally 6 bytes are allocated. You can able to understand based on the memory address. Then the array can store num n number of values under the single data type. So, based on the integer, we can store only one value. Based on the array, you can store n number of value, but under the single data type. So, that is why we are going for structure. Structure is a collection of one or more variable of the different data types. That means, you can store the n number of value, which is belongs to the different data types. Okay, well, you can see the structure definition here, then syntax here. Okay, well, the struct is the keyword, then structure name, that is the user defined name. We can provide the structure name by ourselves. You take the example student details. So, inside the student detail, we are supposed to be provide the member variable. This is the list of member variable. You can provide the n number of member variable, the name of the student, that is the character, name of 20, name of 20, the student name may be 20 characters, more than, not more than 20 character, less than 20 characters. So, name, character of 20, then example, second member variable, integer, roll number, then percentage, percentage belongs to the float, float percentage, okay, well, so example, as per this example, structure, student detail, name, roll number, then percentage, then close brace, semicolon, then we need to create the objects, number of object to access the member variable. So, here the syntax of the object creation is struct, structure name, that is a struct, student detail, then space, object name 1, object name 2. If you want to store and read the two student detail, then you can write it here student 1, comma student 2, that is the name of the objects. Okay, well, or you can create the objects in another syntax is there, directly after the close brazil, object name 1, comma object name you can see the memory representation for this particular structure. The another example I took it here, structure book for the book detail, I took only name, page number and price. So, according to the definition of the structure, you can store the n number of values under the different data types. So, character name of 5, okay, well, according to the previous slide I said, I said name of 20, but here I'm, I rep represented size is 5 because the representation of the memory, if I am taking the 20, then I need to be draw the 20 boxes. Okay, So, I limited with the 5 number based on the diagram. So, character name of the book is 5 letters. Okay, Then integer page number, then float price. For this particular structure, you can see the physical representation of the memory here. The name, 5 locations, page number 2 bytes, price 4 bytes. Okay, well, So, here name, name means character character means only one byte allocation. This is the array character, name of 5, array characters. So, according to that one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, totally 5 locations are allocated. Then, come to the point of object creation. After closing the structure, book 1, comma book 2, book 1, comma book 2. Based on the book 1 and book 2, I created the memory structure here. So, 
book one there is a name page number price book two name price page number okay wow. so this is a book one structure and book two structure you can see here if you want to calculate the overall memory allocated for this particular structure you can see here total number of mem memory allocation name 5 bytes page 2 bytes price 4 bytes for the book 1 and book 2 so totally book 1 allocated 11 bytes book 2 allocated 11 bytes for this particular structure this particular structure we are allocating 11 plus 11 22 bytes of memory location then how to read and write that means how to print and scan the input value okay well, so scan of is available it is normal syntax only difference is whenever we are going to be read and write the corresponding structure member variable we need to be use the variable in front of the variable dot corresponding structure name so here structure name is book book corresponding object name corresponding object name book one dot name book one dot page number book one dot price so you can see scan of percentages df s for string the first variable d for integer page number second variable f for floating floating point price for third variable then you can see here this is the example if you want to give the book book name i written here c program so this particular entry you can see percentage s and ampersand symbol of book one dot name ampersand symbol of book one dot name whenever the compiler executing this particular two things then automatically the c program is entered into the memory location similarly the corresponding page number 865 page number percentage d book one dot page number then the corresponding price is 885.50 885.50 that is the price of the book how to print the value in the output screen print of is we are using the same way percentage s percentage d percentage f book one dot name book one dot page number book one dot price similar to your scan of only difference is normal print of and scan of we are using the single variable name but here we are using the object name dot variable name member variable name that is the difference you can see the output the similarly percentages and book you got the output of name of the book similarly percentage d and book one dot page number you got the output of 865 pages next percentage f and book one dot price you got the price of 885 rupees point 50 paise then this is the example program you can directly execute this program in the turbo c compiler or any online compilers ash include stdio.h ash include conio.h so standard input output dot h means header file standard input output header file so this for corresponding header file will support the input output functions example here we are using the printf three printfs are there that is the output which is supported by the standard input output then conio.h console input output header file so here you can see clear screen and get ch both functions are supported by the conio.h then void main the main is the keyword the compiler start executing the program from the main so inside the main we are creating the structure structure book structure book you can see character name of 30 so previous example i written only 5 size of the book but here the name is 30 book name is 30 okay well, there i kept 5 the size is because of physical representation if i am writing 30 i need to be draw the accordingly okay so actually we, we used to be take the 20 or 30 size for the name of the book so character name of the 30 integer page number float price then close brazil only one object i created here so i am going to be read and write book one detail book one detail you can see here in the previous slides i directly used the scanf but here directly i am providing the input with the help of the following syntax structure book that is the name of the structure then b1 that is the object name b1 is the object name equal to within the open and close brazil i provided all three values all three values so within the double quotes c++ in the c program we used to be provide or we used to be represent the string in a double quotes the normal value may be integer or float 
we used to be provide directly the three different values separated by the comma the end close and semicolon end with close and semicolon then clear screen then clear screen clear screen is the function is going to be make the empty output screen then printf slash n indicating the printing the output in the next line book name equal to percentages so you can see book name equal to the corresponding percentage as book one dot name okay va? so name of the book one so here what we written here we provided input c plus plus so that is going to be available in the output c plus plus okay similarly the next line printf slash n that means printing in the next line book page book pages equal to percentage d instead of symbol percentage d book one dot page number the second value what we provided here 600 that should be in the output screen printf slash n book price equal to percentage f okay well, the book price is available in the output screen in the next line based on the slash n equal to equal to percentage f instead of symbol of floating point the corresponding variable available the value is 1200 that should be in the available output okay similarly you can able to do the program for the uh, book detail student detail employee detail different programs you try to execute and learn properly thank you